This is an updated video in reference to installing a lifetime basketball goal with a lifetime sleeve. The first video that I did, the music happened to be too loud where you couldn't hear me very well. And on this video, I've kind of updated a few things and put a few more screenshots of the instructions in how to install this to help guide you along and to clarify a few points here and there. I decided to purchase a sleeve because I like the idea of being able to remove the basketball goal from the ground. If you don't use the sleeve, once you cement that basketball goal into the ground, unless you break up the cement or dig it up, you're not removing it. So the sleeve, what that's going to do is allow you to remove the basketball goal or if you want to maybe cant the backboard to point in one direction versus another direction, you have that ability to do so. So I decided to go ahead and purchase the sleeve. Got the hole dug. It is uh, 21 inches in diameter and 24 inches deep. We have bricks in the bottom to uh, hold up the uh, lifetime sleeve. If you can see right there is the gist of it. After you put the bricks in it should be about 16 inches. Um, so it's going to be level with the plane surface. And right here we're using a lifetime sleeve and we're putting in the bottom pole into that lifetime sleeve. We're going to later take that out and put cement in it. Depending on whether you're using the sleeve or not, there is a little bit of a variation on the diameter of the hole. If you're using the sleeve, the diameter of the hole you dig is going to be 21 inches in diameter. If you're not using the sleeve, the diameter of the hole is going to be 18 inches. When using the sleeve, the instructions call for eight and a half bags of cement. All right, what we're doing right now, we're mixing the cement in the wheelbarrow. We already put some cement in the hole. And it's important that you, this is gonna be, this ruler right here through the slot, it's important that it's going to mimic your playing field so make sure even though this driveway kind of curves we're going to just put it where it needs to be that part was a little confusing so let me clarify i am using the basketball sleeve so i didn't have to worry about that whole thing with the ruler but if you are not using the basketball sleeve then when you cement that bottom tube into the cement that ruler is going to signify your backboard and you'll want to make sure that ruler is facing however you want it in relationship to the driveway. Also, the clamp, that clamp ring right there, that's got to go to the back. It'll facing away from the playing field. And of course, we're going to have to make this level. As we put more, more cement, that will take care of that. We've got the cement poured. we got the post set up. We believe we got it as straight as we can get it. Um, last bag of cement, we put too much water in it, so that's why it looks so soupy. Just kind of keep in mind that. Um, and so right now, the idea is we're just going to let it sit. And once we, uh, once it sets up, we're going to take that post out and fill it up with cement. The next step is to remove the bottom tube from the sleeve, put the plastic cap at the bottom, and then mix a half a bag of cement up and start to fill the bottom tube up. Once you fill a little bit of the bottom tube up, what you're going to do is put the rebar in. And you'll want to make sure that the rebar isn't touching any of the sides. Just add the cement up to the top just below the slots of the bottom tube. Now what you're going to do is measure 14 and a half inches up from the bottom and make a mark on the uh, tube. So when you insert the bottom tube into the ground sleeve, you want to make sure this 14 and a half inch mark reaches the top edge of the ground sleeve. What well, we did, half a bag of cement mixed up. Tip this on its side, put put in cement, pack the uh, bottom of this with cement. Try, it's probably about this full. Put the piece of rebar up through the center. That kind of kept the rebar in place as far as not being on one side. Put the cap on, set it up on its end, and pour cement in through the top all the way to the, if you can see it there, all the way just below this slot. 
now what we're going to do is it, um, set up and uh, we'll be ready to go. Okay, this is the finished product. We have the uh, basketball goal inserted into the sleeve. The bolt in the back, you can loosen that up and you can turn this whole basketball goal to uh, manipulate which way the backboard points or you can remove the whole basketball goal itself. That's the whole purpose of the sleeve. Now what we're going to do, we're going to demonstrate the variation of when the ball hits the backboard, how much the backboard and the basketball goal um, moves. I've supplied some freeze frames of installing the basketball goal without using the lifetime sleeve. But either way, whether you use the sleeve or whether you don't use the sleeve, please get familiar with the instructions on whichever version you decide to install.